Hi, Irish Griffith here, your Code Enforcement Officer. I want to discuss with you briefly complaints. Now, we all have things in our neighborhoods that we look at sometimes, or neighborhoods we drive through, that we think, mm, somebody ought to really address that issue. My office is always open for complaints. We do have a form that you can fill out online. We have a form in the office you can come in and fill out. A couple of things you need to know about filing a complaint. If you want me to follow up with you in regards to you providing additional information or me providing you information about how things are working out with this and whether or not I can do any enforcement actions, I do need an email address and or phone number and a name. However, my office has transparency. Everything that I do is public record. So bear that in mind when you're filling out these forms that if somebody were to come in and ask, I do have to provide them a copy. That's something that does matter to some people depending on neighborhood dynamics, and I understand that. So when you report a complaint, what I need is the information on the property address and exactly what you want me to look at when I go there. So for example, if you feel there's a hoarding issue inside or a hoarding issue outside, I need you to write that information, and preferably if you can give me a little detail about what it might be, that allows me to be prepared when I address the situation. Now, as I make a determination of if this violates code and whether I can proceed, if you've requested information from me on how it goes, I'll give you a call, let you know what my procedure is going to be. But right now, I can briefly explain to you exactly how I handle violations, both in case you file a complaint or, you know, unfortunately, sometimes you find yourself the person the complaint's made about. So, in that case, we consider that a violation. It's a violation of code. I would go out to usually start with a drive-by, see if there's anything that I actually need to address. Sometimes knock on your door, see if I can talk to you. If I can talk to you, I'll explain everything that needs to be done, and I'll follow that up with a letter. Everything I do has to be followed up with a letter. It does not mean that you're in any sort of massive trouble, particularly if you're going to be compliant and you understand from our conversations what needs to be done. It's just a legal thing that we have to do. I will work with you. The biggest thing for me with violations is communication. If you have an issue that needs to be resolved, I will tell you how to resolve it. We'll set up a timeline together and we'll set up a timeline to check in on things. What I have to do is keep a progress report going. If you file a complaint, you have a violation, and unfortunately we have some people that just don't want to comply with bringing the property into code. What happens is I send a notice after 30 days. If there's no response, I have to send a second notice. Everybody gets two kicks at the can, so to speak. After that, I can bring it to the select board to see if they will take some legal enforcement, which we don't ever want to happen. So hopefully, any complaints that come through my office, we can all work together to get everything resolved. So if you happen to have a complaint or have an outstanding violation and you would like to work with me, please feel free to reach out to me. I can be reached by email, code at berwickmaine.org, and Maine is spelled out. You can call or text my work cell phone number, which is area code 207-752-6103. Or you can reach me at the office, 698-1101, and my extension is 122. Thank you.